I think the more you can isolate the light, the better the quality of film. I've got dust on the screen as well. Is that clean, though? Right? No, no. no, Chief. No, this isn't me saying you haven't dusted your screen. This is just to make sure I'm static. Come in. Come with me. I will show you a strange thing never before seen by human eyes. Yeah, and the scratch doesn't see you. I mean, it does in some parts, but in other parts. It's got a greeny tent. <laughs> Plenty of green in there. Yeah. But you see, it goes into shots like that, so we'll just use those shots. Is there not such a machine that you can use a mouse on a computer well, screen? Well, there is, but we, can, got, uh, we haven't got one. Whether there is a mouse, it's irrelevant. We haven't got one. We're just talking about one of those. We've got some computers upstairs. This is fine, though. We'll just cut the slow bits. I mean,. The bits without the scratch are quite long. We'll just cut those out. Because, hmm. I mean, you know what it's like when they're finished film. You don't need grippy long shots anyway. No. You see, in this shot, the, the scratch is gone. You got all this without the scratch. <laughs>
Anyway, do the commentary while the film's going on because it's going to be absolutely synchronized. Yeah. Um, how can it not be? Look at those colours. Reactions to pictures. Images. I love autumn. Do and that emphasises yeah. autumn even more. Oh, yeah. that green and that red. As a minister, where the money was coming from.
sound and motion and touch, a tingling sensation pervading my frame, then the mere consciousness of existence without thought, a condition which lasted long. Then very suddenly thought and shuddering terror and earnest endeavor to comprehend my true state, then a strong desire to lapse into insensibility, then a rushing revival of soul and a successful effort to move. And now, a full memory of the trial, of the judges, of the sable draperies, of the sentence, of the sickness, of the swoon. One entire forgetful. swinging round. Are you gossip or going to say? Look at the, uh, the orange and green. We're going to do some still photographs. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a bit slippy. Don't worry, I was going to be better because you got the. I was going to say you got the natural. Well, let me. Yeah. Oh, go on, then you can shine the light. Because yeah. I need to buy us more time to work on the films. <laughs> Thank 
put you know, all those blue dashes there on the black. Blue and black, blue and red dashes on the black. Legend tells of a farmer travelling from Mobley to Macclesfield to sell a white horse at Macclesfield Market. On the road past Alderley Edge, he was stopped by an old bearded man who asked to buy the horse. Believing he would get a better price in Macclesfield, the farmer refused to sell, but all day no one offered to buy his beast. And so he returned home, but once again as he passed Alderley Edge, the old man again appeared and asked if he could buy the horse. Now the farmer was only too glad to sell. The old man led the farmer onto the edge and pausing by a rock face struck the stone with his staff. The rock opened to reveal a tunnel. The old man led the startled farmer into the chamber whereupon he saw an army of knights sleeping. Each possessed a white steed, except for one. The old man explained that the farmer's horse was to become the final white steed. The belief that this legend equates with King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table and that the old man was indeed the wizard Merlin is rife in the area, as is the belief that the edge is a centre for general wizardry and witchcraft. And come Halloween, the edge is invaded by the youth of Cheshire, Liverpool and Manchester and fireworks are thrown and bottles are smashed and every so often someone falls down the cave opening at Stormy Point and smashes their face. Go suck yourself up. And put that on your video, drive! And you can put that on your video, drive. Yeah. What a day. Over the edge in the rain.
just had it recently. Yeah, well, it's, it's a replacement. Uh, it's from the college, the one that we had was stolen. Yeah. This is a replacement to a tiny out. So the idea is to go out, film in low light conditions, and see what the result is. That's a make a good shot, actually. Swung round to the mirror, and he goes, Oh, in a very strange fashion, aren't we? We're all in the mirror. The only person that's not been in the film so far. Hey, Tom. <laughs> oh, no, I bet you these have been really good chestnuts, haven't they? The Thursday night. Is that a full one there? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's quite a big one, isn't it? <gasps> oh! Kruger, you are stupid! You're so possessive! Just because people pick things up, it does not mean they're for you! This is jail. Yeah. We got dressed up. Yeah. Thank you, Tom.
I can't see that. Can't smile, <laughs> What's this big square right in the middle of it, Lee? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you can smile on video, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Avant-garde things. Avant-garde? What's that mean? It's one of these futuristic things like, you know, you know where they ride bikes on canvases. You know what's going to do with this? Mm, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't like it. Isn't it? They worry me. They worry you. Oh, wow. Take it away. This is a Macclesfield pub. That was a Swiss shot. Oh, 
Not some of the Hello? Hello? Roy! Roy, you! Roy, you! Let's get some really avant garde shots. Roy! 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 It doesn't matter, no, it's not that. Um, it looked like a grey big tree. I wonder what it was. I was walking down the street, and I said, That's me. Thank <laughs> you. 
somebody uh, on my own equation, my own maggot, maggot, falling through a bloody roof in between the spars, right through the ceiling, onto uh, somebody's friggin' bed. Come on, people, light my fire. It's a mism, it's a mism, it's a mism, it's a mism. I'm going to invent the ism. I'm going to invent the ism. I am 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 going to invent the ism. This is going to be really weird. I'm going to watch you do. Oh. And then my stones have gone at me as well. I've got Paddy on the song dancing there. On the graphic film coming up. <laughs>
Oh, you know. That was lovely. What about the front? Hey, what the thing about it is, yeah, the front. you say don't you dare, but that's the most daring thing in this book. Well, we did it. Pulling your arse out. That's nothing, is it? That's nothing compared to... Our arse is only an arse. I've only got dungarees on. Smacking someone in the mouth is worse, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not what she's got in it. Second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's told A little way, yeah. Uh, <laughs> carbs. Them pints. Do I what? It was very dark. Um, um, well, well, I'm Kay, I'm Kay. It was very dark, we were very dark, wet, and then the lot was scared. Then lot was scared. Well, it's a hard struggle, Max. Usually, uh, there's no usual on Maggie. Day to day. We taste like legalised cannabis. It's quite a lot of rain. The post office running. Something from Mother Ken. Somebody drink coughing a pint.